So what is Climate Camp and why have you decided to come here to Bishopsgate to start this protest? Well, uh, in previous years we've had climate camps on the edge of Heathrow protesting against the third runway, in Kings North trying to stop this proposed coal-fired power station from coming ahead. So normally we do climate camps in green, beautiful spaces. Uh, and this year is very different because we're in the centre of the, uh, the financial district of London. And we're doing that because we want to draw the links between the financial crisis and the climate crisis, especially in the form of carbon trading. Uh, now where we are is just outside the European Climate Exchange, which is the biggest carbon trading centre in the world. And what we're saying is that carbon trading isn't working. Uh, we, it's, it's just crazy to be using the market now as a means of dealing with climate change when we've seen in the last year how spectacularly unstable uh, and, and how problematic uh, the, the market can be. Right, and um, so what are, your ho what are you hoping will come out of this camp? What, what would be your ideal kind of final? What we're hoping to come out of this camp is uh, a really solid first step to what we're planning on doing for the rest of the year, which is provoking a critical awareness in the UK of the reality of carbon trading, especially in the run-up to Copenhagen in December at the end of the year. Climate change is going to be so important this year, uh, and it's really important that people are aware of Copenhagen in terms of what it actually means when we're talking about the Kyoto Protocol. People think it's, uh, it's all going really well, but the carbon trading that's going on is just ineffective very corrupt and making a lot of money for, uh, for some of the biggest polluters. And what are your thoughts on the G20 meeting that is going on at the moment um, and Barack Obama's presence? Uh, how do you feel that you can affect that? I, to be honest, I don't really have uh, that much hope of impacting what the uh, G20 leaders will be talking about. I really think they've got their agendas set already. Uh, and the type of body that it is, I mean, they're already more or less ignoring the rest of the world because it's only the kind of 20 richest, most powerful decisions who are making uh, decisions on behalf of the rest of the world. So I don't think they're really going to give that much of a monkeys about 2,000 people out on the street here. And I don't have any confidence in anything they're going to be putting on the table in, in terms of dealing with climate change. And what do you think are the most important steps that individual people can do to support this um, if they wanted to get involved or...? Have a look on the Climate Camp website there's a number of uh, local groups all around the country that have regular meetings. One of the main aims of climate change is to try and develop a social movement of people in the UK who are willing and able to take radical action on climate change. Uh, and so we're really trying to make as accessible as possible and get as many people on board as possible. Great. And um, today, this feels like a really friendly protest. Um, how's the police reaction been to you guys today and how was it setting up? Well, we've had in previous years a very difficult relationship with the police to say the least. Uh, they were widely criticised for the way they policed the climate camp in Kings North last year. They are incredibly heavy handed. They used, uh, they made a number of violent incursions on the site. Uh, they were stopping and searching everyone. It was really very, very bad last year. Uh, and so this year, a month ago, we sent a letter outlining our concerns to the Met about the policing today. They didn't respond to that letter. Uh, a couple of days ago we forced them to have a meeting with an MP in which we voiced some of those concerns. So far they've been quite respectful. Let's see how it goes uh, overnight for, for the rest of our stay here. And how long are you planning on actually staying here? Is the camp... We're planning on having a 24-hour camp. Uh, we start at 12.30 today. We're planning on being here till 12.30 uh, tomorrow. And is that looking like it's going to happen with the police at the moment? Uh, I think so. The police taking quite a hands-off approach uh, at the moment. Um, I just wondered if you had any thoughts about um, what's gone on down the road earlier on with... Um with uh, the bank, uh, Bank of England and the other protests. Have you heard any reports of what's happened there? I haven't heard that many reports. I heard there was an RBS got broken into. Uh, I think there's been a, a bit of a fracas at the Bank of England. Um, to be honest, I think it's a tiny fraction of all the uh, sensationalism in the media we've been exposed to this last week of how it's going to be on the streets of London. Uh, and it's, it's, it's right and good that people are out and about, not just here, but the thousands of other people in London uh, to make their voices heard about the, about the need for change. Great, thank you very much. That's brilliant. No problem. <laughs>